of day. We give you the highest glory. We give you all the worship of our souls, oh God. There is none like you, oh Lord. There is none like you in all the earth, oh Lord. This day, Lord, we choose to worship you. We give you the glory, the praise, and the honor, Lord. Lord, we ask that you would anoint the walls of this church to be holy ground, O oh God. Anoint the floor and the ceiling to be holy ground. And let the heavens be open, Lord, as we come to worship you, as we come to pray and seek your face, O oh God. We know, Lord, that you will turn and look at us, O oh God, that you will answer our prayers tonight, Lord. For your word declares that your ears are tender to the prayers of the righteous, O oh God. We thank you tonight that as we come together, Lord, that you would come and Lord, that you will anoint our prayer, oh God. Lord, that as we seek your face, Lord, surely we will find you, Lord. We have come, Lord, to seek the face of the Most High God. And we thank you, Lord, that this is the day that you have made. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, I just want to welcome everyone. It's good to be in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We don't need to hide and worry what we say. The people will listen to us now. Everyone can hear us worshiping. Amen. 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 Now we can let our secret out. We were always in church. <laughs> but now we can be open about it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, we just want to welcome our online family. All the people in church are saying, Pastor, you should have said that. <laughs> But praise the Lord, God is for us. We want to welcome everyone, even the members of our church that are not here. We welcome you and uh, just uh, continue to join us as you may be seated, guys. Continue to join us as we just share the word. Thank you, Caesar, for that. We'll continue worshiping. You can stay there. Um, and I just want to share a word that the Lord put in my heart quickly. Um, especially in the time that we feel ourselves. I hear the Lord say the other day I was praying and the Lord showed me that there is an idol that has been raised up in our nation. And this idol is called fear. And the Lord showed me that the coronavirus actually became an idol. That people are starting to worship it with a with spirit of fear. They, every, every time the coronavirus is mentioned or COVID-19, people are bowing down. People are, oh, I, I stop whatever I'm doing and I have to align to everything. And I just want to share something the Lord put with me. If we turn to our to the Bible, to the book of 2 Corinthians, uh, chapter 6, and from verse 14, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You understand? There are things that that pertain to the world that does not pertain to us. The fear is not our portion. Yes, we can wear our face masks, we can we can sanitize our hands, we got social distancing in our church. But fear is not our portion. Amen. And when we are moved by fear, we are yoking ourselves unequally with the unbelievers. Fear is not our portion. Fear is not our portion. We are the children of God. Amen. We are the sons and daughters of God. So we must understand this idol that's been raised up around the world. And we must not serve this idol. Listen to what the Bible says. It goes on further. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has the light with darkness? We are the light of the world. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men. The Bible says, what good is the light if it's placed, if you light a light and duck it under the bed? You, it must be shown, isn't that so? And what accord has Christ with Belilion? Or what part? has a believer with unbeliever and what agreement has the temple of God with idols for you are the temple of God of the living God as God said I will dwell in them and I will walk among them and if God is walking among us I want to take you this is just something that God put on my heart and if you jump to the book of Daniel and you hear the story, everyone knows the story of uh, Meshach, Abednego, and Shadrach uh, when they were thrown into the, into the furnace. And the Bible says that when the king threw them into the furnace, that the king said, but didn't we give three men 
into the furnace. But now I see there's four among them. And, 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 and the Bible and the king is saying, but I see four men walking. So who was the fourth one? Was, was the Lord. And the Lord said in the book of Corinthians that if you will not yoke yourself up unequally with unbelievers, I will come and walk among you. And I will dwell within you. Are you getting a revelation? And many of us believe that God is within us. But do we believe that He walks among us? As He walked among yes. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And that flames of that furnace had no power over them. Because they were, as God walks around you, He puts, if this is you, and God says, if you will, uh, uh, do not yoke yourself up unequally. If you will not bow to fear this day, God is saying that I will come and I will walk among you. I will walk around you. And when I walk around you, I put my Shema presence around you. And when you're when the Shema presence of God is around you, you don't need to be taken out of the furnace to be safe. You are safe in the furnace. Amen. Yeah, you're getting a revelation. And if you, and if the Shema presence is around us in the season, we don't need to be taken to another country. We don't need to be ducked away. We can walk in the midst of the COVID-19 and it will not come near us. If you read on in the book of Daniel, when the king eventually said, wow, what is going on here? And he told the people, come and take these men out of the furnace. I want to investigate this thing. You read it in the book of Daniel chapter 3. Listen to this, what the, what the Bible says. Listen to this. And the Sabbath and the administrators and governors and the king's counselors gathered together and they saw these men on whose body the fire had no power. Hallelujah. The hair on the head was not burnt. And the smell of the furnace, the fire was not on the garment. Do you understand that? They were in the midst of the fire. And I hear the Lord say, if you will trust me, and if you will not bow to the spirit and the idol of fear in this season, I will come and I will walk among you. And I will put my Shema presence around you. That not even your clothes will, will, be, will be touched by this fire. You leave alone and come in into your body. God says it won't even come near you. God says it won't even have power to rest upon you. The flames of that furnace had no power to even come upon their clothes. They had no power to touch their hair. Leave alone getting inside of them. The world is frightened of the virus getting in them. But I'm here to tell you that God says that I will put my Shema presence around you Amen. so that it won't even come near you. That's Amen. what he says. Amen. If you will separate yourself from this world, if you would know that you are different from the standards of this world, you see everyone wears gloves, everyone wears masks, everyone uses sanitizer. It's the wise thing to do. Everyone socially distances himself. But we are not of the world. We do not partake of the fear of the world. You see, the world is doing all of that. They're wearing their gloves, they're sanitizing their hands, they're socially distancing themselves. But even with all of that, they are still fearful. And this is where we draw the line. Amen. That's what I hear the Lord say. This is where my children need to draw the line in this season. You do what you have to do and then walk with the faith of God. Amen. Because God says that as the flames do not hurt Meshach, Abednego and Shadrach, it will not hurt you in this day. Amen. 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 And we need, I just, want, I just thought that that was amazing. The Lord just showed me this in the furnace how the fourth one was walking among them. And he took me to the book of Corinthians and he showed me to confirm it. So I just wanted to let you all know that God is with us. He has not left us. And I just want to send out a message to all our, our brothers and sisters online. I just want to say that God is with you. Do not bow to this idol that has been raised up in the nations of this world. And that idol's name is fear. Anything the Bible says that exalts itself against the knowledge of God is an idol. Anything that will take away your faith is an idol. Anything that will take away your time is an idol. And I tell you something, the, the, the COVID-19 has become an idol. The, the spirit of fear has become an idol in the nations of the earth. People sit in front of their TVs, waiting. What is the next? How many cases today? How many cases tomorrow? People are waiting on the neighborhood watchers. 
on the chat site in, in our neighborhood, on our neighborhood watch, every day they update you with how many cases. They even break it down into provinces. They even break it down into towns. And, and uh, even with races. It's, it's feeding an idol of fear. And anything that takes your, your focus and your faith from God becomes an idol. And right now this thing is becoming an idol because it's stopping God's house from doing what it's supposed to do. It's stopping God's people from doing what they're supposed to do. So what I'm saying is, we trust God. Amen. We will, but we do what we have to do, but we trust God. Amen. Because the world does what we do, but where we separate ourselves, where we draw a line from the world is where fear comes in. Yes. Where the world is fearful. So I'm here to tell you tonight, don't be fearful. God is with you. Amen. God will never leave you. And if you, everyone reads about these young men that walked in the furnace and they say, oh, let us do that. If you read the verse before that build up to it, there was an idol that was placed for the king. And when a sound came, every person in the, in the country had to bow to that idol. But these three men said, we will not bow to something that is not of God. And they said, my God will deliver us. This is what built up to the miracle. And if we will stand this day and say, yes, we will do the wise thing and use our mass and use our guns and use whatever we need to use to protect our family. But we will not bow to the idol Amen. of fear. Amen. That's what I'm saying today. Don't bow to the idol of fear. And God will be with you. God will surround you. Not even the hair in your head will get hurt if you will trust God. Amen. Amen. There's so many people that are afraid. We've, we've been doing whatever we've been doing for so long, nothing ever came near us. Amen. Because God was with us. Amen. And I want to tell you tonight that as we pray, as we seek God, I want you to keep this in mind. That as we bring our family members, when we pray for our family members, those online, as we pray for family, as we pray for our brothers and sisters in the church, let us pray in this line. Let us pray that that spirit, that idol of fear will be broken in their hearts. This is what we need to pray for. And then the body of Christ is going to rise up. Amen. Amen. And I believe that we are living in a great season. In the midst of the storm, God is going to do a great work in this nation. I want to tell you something. If you read the pages of history, whenever there was a trial and a situation, that's when the hand of God moved. Amen. So don't lose heart. God is still going to raise up your business. God's never forgot about your destiny. I want to tell you something. In that furnace, God did not forget that those three young men had a destiny. The furnace does not change the mind of God. And the COVID-19 does not change the mind of God. Amen. God still remembers your destiny, Renee. God still remembers all the words that He promised you. This COVID-19 didn't give God amnesia. Are you listening, bro? It doesn't give God amnesia. God didn't forget what He promised you. Did He not say that Monday will be a new season for you? Amen. God is a faithful God. Amen. Are you listening, Wally? Amen. God is not moved by COVID-19. God is still remembering the words of prophecy that have been spoken Amen. over your life. God is still remembering His word. He is still faithful to His word. And His word says that I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. His Amen. word says that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that you must fear no evil. Amen. Because your rod, His rod and His staff comfort us. So I'm here to encourage you tonight that God does not have amnesia. God never stopped. On when was the 26th of March when the lockdown started in this country? God did not forget that the promises of God did not be locked down in level 5. The promises of God have never been locked down. Do you understand that? The country was locked down. The world was locked down. But heaven was always open. And heaven will always be open. The gates of heaven will always be open upon your life. And today I want you to know that as we start to worship and as we start to pray, I want you to bring those dreams, the destiny that God, that you prayed before the season was on the earth. You were praying in January, your New Year's resolution that God promised you. God is faithful to fulfill it. And so when we pray tonight, I hear the Lord say, call back to your remembrance the things that I promised you, says the Lord. Call back those things. Speak to your destiny and say you abide to the word of God. We need to learn how to speak to our destiny and say 
you will apply the word of God and not the word of this world. For I am in this world, but I am not of this world. Do you understand that? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we pray tonight, I want you to have faith. I want you to dream again. I want you to, uh, to believe God again. He's the God of the resurrection. And in the midst of the storm, He's going to come and walk among you. Amen. And He's going to raise you up and you're yes. going to shine. Jesus. Amen. People will see and know, surely, you were a sister and you were a brother that trusted your God. Amen. And God says, those that trust me, I will never leave them. So as we continue to worship tonight, as we continue to pray, we want to just invite everyone online to join us as we continue to worship, to pray. We'll just uh, worship for a while and then we'll, we'll pray, we'll worship again as the Spirit leads. Amen. Amen. So can we stand to our feet with the faith of God? And we got, we got work to do here. Amen. We haven't been in the house of God for two months as a church on a prayer night. This is our first prayer night. We need to break down the altars that the enemy Amen. in many regions. We need to start, I hear the Lord say, we need to start breaking down the altars that the enemy has been raising up in our neighborhood. So let us start to worship. The Bible says when we worship, he comes and abides in our midst. And if we're going to deal with altars, we need the presence of God. Amen. Amen. So as we are all online, we welcome you all just to enter the presence of God with us. Hallelujah. Caesar, take us into the throne room of God. As we worship, we just bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
God right now. The Bible says that when we pray in the spirit that we propelled our most holy faith. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
the presence of God. We seek the glory of God to rain down upon this church, upon this community. Those that are online, I want you to start to get hungry for the presence of God in your home, in your region. Let the flames of glory burn in our region. Let us push back the spirit of fear. Let every idol of fear bow. As Gagan bowed to the glory of our God, so shall fear bow in this day. But the glory of God must flow through the streets of our city. Oh, I want us to start a pray right now in Kibla Park Church. I want us to pray for this region. God has called us to light the lamp of this house, to burn bright in this region. And you online, I want you to pray in your family, in your home. Let the glory of God come. Let it come into your streets. Let it come in your neighborhood. Raise up the glory of God. Wherever you are, just start to pray and hunger and thirst for the fire and the glory of heaven. Oh Lord, let it rain, oh God. Oh Lord, we come this evening, oh God. We come hungry. We come thirsty, oh God. Lord, as Elijah stood on Mount Carmel, Lord, and he called for you, Lord, to come and to prove who you are before the idols and the false prophets of the day, oh God. Lord, we call unto heaven in this day, oh God, this terrible season that your body finds itself in, oh God. Lord, we turn to heaven and we ask, Lord, that you would come and you would reveal yourself with fire, Lord. Lord, burn every false altar, oh God. Break every spirit of fear that has bound this nation, oh God. We take authority over every spirit of fear, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Lord, we take authority over it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you, Lord, that in Kibla Park, Lord, Lord, that your glory is flowing, oh God. Oh Lord, I pray for the churches in Kibla Park, oh God. Lord, I pray that your fire will start to burn upon the altars, oh God, of every house, of every church in Kibla Park, oh God. Lord, let the altars burn in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray, God, that your house will burn in every region of this town, Lord, that you have put it, Lord. Let the house of God let burn in this day, oh God. We bless our brothers and our sisters in every church in Kimla Park, oh God. Lord, we send forth the word of God into their homes, into their lives, oh God. Lord, let your glory flow into their homes, oh God. Lord, let the fire of the Holy Spirit, Lord, let it flow through the streets of Kimla Park, oh God. Let it flow into Mayfield Park, into Akinoff, oh God, into Alvanda Park. Let them know that you are alive in this day, oh God. We send the Spirit of God into this region, oh God. Oh Lord, let the fire of heaven burn, oh God. Let the wind of the glory of God, let it blow in every community, oh Lord. Lord, let your hand the spot know that you are alive, oh God. Let this great of South Africa. Let it rise up, oh God. Let the church pray like we have never prayed before, oh God. Let us raise up the altar of glory, oh God, that the spirit of fear shall be pushed back, oh God, as the chains of fear are being broken. Oh, I hear the Lord say, the chains are being broken. Chains of fear, chains of anxiety, chains of restraint are being broken, chains of infirmity. You are the word of the Lord. The chains are being broken, Caesar. Oh, let us worship God as we give him praise for the chains that are being broken right now. Oh, let us worship the Lord in the realm of the prophetic as we break every chain with our worship. Oh, let the worship of God's people, let it rise up into the heavens. And let it break every chain in the name of Jesus. Are you ready, church? Are you ready to break the chains of fear over your life? Are you ready to break the chains of anxiety, the chains of restriction, the chains of lack? Are you ready to break it over your life right now? And if you are ready, I want you to open your mouth and start to worship God. Give Him praise, a praise of faith that you're telling God, I praise you. 
because I know the chains are broken. I praise you because the chains are coming out. I feel the weight. Do you feel the weight of yesterday coming out? Do you feel the chains of the enemy? Do you feel the chains of fear coming off you? And if you feel it right now, I want you to join us as we worship the Lord. Oh, us so dead in that. Jump in, Caesar, jump in. Oh, us so dead in
prophesy to the chains of lack and say you have no more power over me. I hear the Lord say prophesy to the chains of restriction and say be pushed back in the name of Jesus. Do you hear the chains breaking? Not by the might of your hands, not by the wisdom of your might, but by the name of the God of heaven, in the name of Jesus. Oh, prophesy to the chains of fear, prophesy to the chains of lack, and say you have no more power over me, because I am your chains breaking. I am free, I am free to worship, I am free to give you praise, God. I am free to give you glory tonight. Oh, do you feel the freedom to worship God? Because the chains have been taken out. Can you claim your victory tonight? My brothers, my sisters, I want you to start to open your mouth. I want you to start to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, start to prophesy. Maybe you have financial problems. I want you to start to pray against that right now. Say to that storm and say, God has blessed me. He is my provider. I will not doubt him. I will not doubt him. I will give him praise because the chains have come off me. No longer have you power over me. No longer will I live in the fear of this world. Will you prophesy? Come on, start to speak. Open your mouth and prophesy to the chains that the enemy has put. Oh, when you finish breaking the chains of your life, I want you to start to break the chains of your children, of your family, your husbands, your wives. Start to prophesy over them and say the chains of restriction over my family have no more power over me. Oh, Shakara Sorenenda, Zapure Sharanando. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we glorify you. Oh, take authority over your home. I hear the Lord say, pull down every high stick that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Take authority over your homes right now. I want you to start to take authority. You are the watchman on the walls of your home. Start to prophesy. Push back the chains of the enemy. Break its power over your home, over your family. No longer will your children be bound by the things of this world. No longer will fear have the power in your home. No longer will anxiety rob you of one night's sleep. No longer, but the peace of God shall be your portion. Did I not tell you, says the Lord, did I not tell you that those who will trust me, they will walk on and rise on wings as eagles, says the Lord, and they will walk and not grow weary, and they will run and not grow weak. Did I not tell you that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty, and a thousand will fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right, but none will come near you. Have I not told you that if you seek me with all your heart that you will find me? Have I not told you that if you knock upon the door, it shall be open, and if you seek me, you shall find me? Have I not told you that if you ask, you shall receive? Have I not told you that greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world? Have I not told you that I will lead you beside still waters, and I will lay you down in green pastures, and in the midst of your enemies, I will anoint your head with oil, and your cup will run over with the goodness and the mercy of the Lord, and I will prepare a table for you in the midst of your enemies. Have I not said that you are my son and my daughter? Have I not said that you are my chosen people? Have I not died for you? Have I not sent you the Holy Spirit? Why is it that you doubt me in this day? Am I not the God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever, says the Lord? Oh, children of God, let us start to worship God. Just start to praise Him. Just start to thank Him right now for all the goodness. Let us take away our thoughts from our needs. There's always going to be need in your life. But right now, let's make this moment about Jesus. Let us just start to praise His name. Oh, we worship you. We bless you, Lord. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest glory. Oh, Lord, we will bless you because your word, it is faithful and it is true, oh, God. Oh, we exalt you, Lord. Since we let exalt the God of heaven. Let's exalt the God of heaven.
Lord, I bring every man and every woman in this church before you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you would bless their lives, that you would bless the works of their hands, oh God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would be with them. Lord, that as they have come out of their homes, oh God, Lord, that you will put a wall of fire around them by night. Lord, that you will walk around them as you walked around Meshach, Abednego, and Shadrach, Lord. Lord, that nothing will come near them. Lord, that they will be a light of your glory and your Shema presence. Lord, when they walk into their homes, they will carry the presence of God. When they walk into their homes, the Shema presence of God will be with them. When they walk through the streets, the Shema presence of God will go with them, oh God. When they go into their workplaces, may the Shema presence of God go with them. I release this anointing upon the airways, upon every man and woman that is watching. Oh God, walk among your people in a way that they have never known, oh God. Lord, put a bloodline of glory around them that every spirit of fear, every spirit of death that will come near your people, that your blood will speak against them. Your blood has a voice as the blood has speak out against Cain when he killed his brother Abel. The Bible says that the blood of Abel cried out to God. Lord, let the blood of the Lamb cry out on our behalf. Draw a bloodline around our families, around our businesses, around our jobs, around our houses, around the churches, around our communities, around this nation, oh God. And let the blood of Jesus speak in a mighty way in the season. I bless every man, I bless every woman. I release them tonight with the grace and the mercy of God. As they go through this week, Lord, Lord, let them go with the grace and the mercy of heaven. We bless you, we thank you, and we glorify you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Everyone online, we bless you. And uh, we just release you. And we'll join you again on Sunday morning. We have two services starting at 8.30 to 10 o'clock and from 10.30 to 12. So tune in online. We'll be live. You can join us and be part of what God is doing. Amen. And uh, if you're at home, we just bless you and we cover you with the grace and the mercy of the Lord. May the Lord shine upon you. May he bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I, I just thank you for this evening.